I've got the intel, the big scoop, the story they don't want told. I've found every skeleton in every closet, and every Indian in every cupboard. That's not my phrasing, by the way. There's a shitty movie from the 90s called Indian in the Cupboard, where a stupid fucking child finds a tiny Native American man in the cupboard, and he tells him he's taken 30 scalps. It's Look, it was a different time, and the fact that the title is racially insensitive is probably the only thing saving us from a remake of it. Anyway, if it's not apparent by now, I know too much. Don't bother looking for me. I'm a shadow, a ghost in the wind. To try to find me would be moot. And you don't want to be moot, would you? Hey, check out the loser who's moot. That's what they'll say. See? No, you don't. Because I'm looking out for you. Don't return the favor. I'm Lyle Wrath, and this is Pregame Discharge, the only video game show that's visible to the invisible. Super Mario, how about you make the game instead, idiot? Two got a Nintendo Directicle. Biggest news to come out of this thing is that the game will feature multiplayer in the form of cooperative and versus modes. But aside from that, it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect. It's the first one, but with a bunch of new doodads. It did show off the specifics of some of those doodads. I don't know which ones are exciting because this is a game for people who have free time and have not yet discovered the great burden. Now I know that everyone is thrilled with Game of Thrones right now and are saying things like, wow, Game of Thrones. I sure am satisfied with that at the current moment. But hey, shut up, because George R.R. R. Martin is probably working with FromSoft on their next game. All we have officially confirmed is that he's posted publicly that he consulted on, quote, a video game out of Japan. But there have been unsubstantiated rumors about this floating around for a while now that just got substantiated. So either that's it or he's fucking with us. Red Dead Redemption Online is apparently out of beta now, which implies implies I should probably stop nailing its wife and making the world's easiest joke. Rest assured, I live a life full of regret. The game got a big meaty update that adds and improves to just about everything you can think of. So if you didn't like it before, maybe you'll like it now, or at very least, hate it less. Hey, remember Outer Wilds, that space exploration game that we haven't heard anything about in a while? Well, you better start remembering Bitch Hole, because it's coming out May 30th. It's a timed exclusive to the Xbox One and the Epic Games Store. Look, no one wants wants to do it, but eventually we're all gonna have to bite the bullet and install that stupid thing. We did it with Origin, we did it with Uplay, we log into them like twice a year, and every time we do, we have to reset our password. We try all the normal ones, we go, which email did I sign up for this on again? We click the link and then we see, oh, I had to include a capital letter and a special character? I guess it's the one I fucking use for my bank account then. And then you try to log in and it says, you're blocked from logging in due to repeated failed attempts, please come back later and maybe just maybe if we did it would be worth it and maybe in another four months or whatever we'll be prepared to deal with that i hope we are i'm lyle wrath and this has been pregame discharge come back next week it's the only surefire way to know where you are